mode, you know, at times when you're in a party mode, you can go in and change as much as you want. Since we couldn't get the gold, I decided to bring my own gold that I want. So I'm having my gold medal. Francisca is really envying me right in the studio. Um, very good. She doesn't know that I already had my security guys uh, put in place. So don't try me. Well, uh, welcome back, guys. Welcome. See, I can't envy you because, first off, why did you, you have to tell us where you got the medal from. That's the big question. And if it's not well recognized, I don't think I want to recognize what it you're could, hanging. It could, be, it could be a local government thing. In your neck. <laughs> you don't bite. Stop biting your medals. I will bite this medal to finish up this program today. You guys, you've not seen anything. I came prepared. Since we couldn't get the goals in Tokyo, I have my own gold. And I will tell you where it came from. Well, if you are not in Tokyo, whatever you are hanging, I feel, I don't know, it's inconsequential to me. Whatever you are hanging, to be whatever sure, you are biting, <laughs> whatever you are kissing, Okay, guys, let's get down straight to the show. Um, S.A. Brume got us our first medal <coughs> in the Tokyo Japan 2020 uh, Games. Quite an exciting one, the bronze medal. And she's also excited and she's thanking Nigerians. Well, yes, uh, we're so happy she got a medal because um, when the Olympics started, we were like, ah, what's going to happen? Even you said uh, we're never expect expecting the gold. But S.A. Brume put a lot of people wrong. She, um, she jumped about 6.97, but yeah. she had a record of 7.17. Seven, 7 so I feel she had a little bit of psychological breakdown. That's why she didn't pick the gold on it because she was supposed to, I mean, smash her record because she did well in, you know, I mean, uh, right there in the um, in the meet. But right now, she jumped. She she, she had her six point um, nine. Six point nine. To me, it wasn't encouraging. That means um, she was supposed to even go beyond the silver, mm. probably the gold. Okay. But uh, what she got. I mean, she she got it all. She got the job done. For you, Francisca, that was her first jump. And it's expected that you're supposed to improve. Jay just said something just now. Um, mental alertness is always very key in top-notch competition. Do you think these athletes have some distractions right there in Tokyo? Well, to some sort of level, I think yes. And to another one, I don't. I, I want to disagree with that. Yes, in the case of we saw how it started, the likes of Funke Oshunaike, we even she was. The, some people will say she was just. She was the one who started the whole ill, whatever, whatever, in the Olympics. But then again, and also we saw another case of the D Tigers and D Tigers. Then we saw an, a case of 10 athletes being disqualified. We also saw uh, Blessing of Kagbari disqualified. Toby Amoso. We, we saw a lot of, uh, will I say, maybe bad day in office this time around. I don't want to use bad luck because a lot of people said bad luck. But then I feel bad day in office. So if you look at all of those things, definitely you want to be affected because football is all about psychology. Mm. And you know you guys going into the competition, it's a kind of a team stop, stop. And when you see that the, the rest of your athletes are not doing well, it's really like somehow affect you. But then again, it now takes that um, personality, you as a person saying, this is what I want to do. Because I remembered while we were speaking with her, that interview with her, with her when they came into the country for um, trials. The trials. Yes, I remembered her alongside with her coach. She was, she was like, she was zealous enough. She was like, don't worry, we'll get this job done. And now she now went into the competition. Things are not really looking the way it was for our other athletes. And she feels, okay, let me just try and see what I can do to tell, to tell Nigerians not to give up. And eventually she was able to get a bronze for herself. I think it's just um, good for us to bring it. But I believe subsequently, she still has got age on her side. So mm. this is not going to be the last Olympic. Mm. And she also she will want to be doing participating in some other competitions too, which the um, coach actually stated. So I believe subsequent edition of Olympics, she could eventually win perhaps a silver or gold. All right. We're wishing Esther Brumet the very best. Congratulations for putting us on the medal table right there in Tokyo. Now, Joel, let's come to something quite exciting. Uh, dollar rain for Uburu Dudu um, Brumet for putting Nigeria on the medal table. Uh, before we went for the Olympic, there was a tag uh, amount five thousand dollars for gold medal, um, three thousand dollars for silver medal, and two thousand dollars for bronze. bronze. But suddenly, um, after Brume got that bronze, the federal government increased it to fifteen thousand dollars, ten thousand dollars, and seven thousand dollars, respectively, for each of the categories of the medal. For me personally, I think that's a PRO. But for you, um, is it too late, or it is something we should have done before now? Probably if, if they heard about the so you know increment of um, of the, the, the fees or the money to, I mean to be given to athletes, probably they might have put in more I mean extra effort probably get the gold and all that. But it's not bad coming from the federal government. You know, um, trying to then look you, you guys need to do very well. Probably subsequent um, 
events or you know, tournaments or Olympics that come, you need to up your game and probably get the gold and all that. But it's not a bad one for the government, you know. But let's see how this whole thing pans out because um, we still have one or two events here and there. There's still the relay coming up, and uh, we, we didn't qualify for the relay. Don't give yourself any hope. Okay. We didn't qualify because for the relay. Yes. Yes. Exactly. The, the yeah. only event we'll be participating right now is the short put event. Short put what? Yes. You know what I can tell you? When my pick up a goal, like I said, I'm so positive about that. Okay. <laughs> I'm still here. All right. Uh, um, for you, Francisca, there is this issue that um, the, 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 the sudden increase of the prize money for gold, silver, and bronze is public relation induced. Well, whatever you want to target, some people will say um, it's, it's, le it's never too late. It's, is it never too late or never? Well, whatever that is. But I feel for me, it's not, I think it's we've, we've, we've heard enough of the say say. It's high time we, be, we began to. Why didn't they into. say before exactly. we went for the game? And the truth is, I'm not even guaranteed that these athletes are going to receive it because I knew what happened at the National Sport Festival. Mm. Up to the moment, majority of these athletes are yet to be awarded or rewarded what they were promised. So this one coming from, whose, whose pocket is it going to come from? Is it going to come from the minister's pocket or is it coming from the ministry's pocket? No, it's from the government. Pocket, or from the government. From the government. Then you begin to ask yourself, how many... Well, and when, let's not let out some things. Let's when the budget is reversed, they will pay them. When the budget is reversed, they will pay them. What budget? The budget for the ministry. Minister of Sports. Which ministry? I can owe you now, can't I? <laughs> <laughs> Remember Sunday Diary had... <laughs> Sunday Diary was giving $2.5 billion to run sport for four years. So probably yes. that's where they get, get the funds from. All right, let's quickly go into some other areas. The high hopes of Nigerians was dashed early this morning. When in wrestling, uh, he, he, there was a drama right there in Tokyo, and I'm going to give you a scenario of what actually happened. Um, no other person than Adokuroi, who uh, she was already tagged the gold medalist before she actually started uh, competing. And right there in the quarterfinals, she was knocked out. And the president of the wrestling federation, the president of Agali, was in shock. He couldn't believe it. The minister, uh, <clears throat> I didn't want to show that picture. The minister had his hand on his head. Uh, the former chairman of AFN, in person of Solomon Ogba, was shouting, what happened? What happened? She lost that fight. Francisca, let me come straight to you. Um, I listened to a colleague of ours this morning. I don't know much about wrestling, but she's into wrestling. She said this hold, that's a girl right in there. She said this hold, that when that hold came in, Uburu Judo shouted, Jesus, that that was just the end. Well, just like you did said, I too really do not know much about wrestling, but I, I know there are techniques and the likes and um, tactics uh, too as to re uh, regards um, wrestling. I uh, I think someone was saying that since she was already re leading eight, it's zero. Eight, eight to zero or thereabouts, and people were like saying you shouldn't have, perhaps she wanted to go for that to say whether or not she would have been able to pick up other points, but people were saying you shouldn't have even bothered going forward you should have just stick to it's a kind of like boxing you you know when you are being punched and you're trying to some jabs but there are some that when it gets to you it's actually what she got was the knockout because it was a painful that was that was what it is and that's why people were saying that she would have just been able to defend what she has accumulated already instead of trying to see whether or not she would have gotten another one but then again let's say all hope is not lost because there are some speculations saying that Maybe if eventually the person she fought, uh, fights with was if, if she... Don't go too far. She was beaten. <laughs> the person she fought with was beaten in the next fight. So well, that, that could have well, given her yes, a, a bronze medal hope. hope. Exactly. But both of them are out. Well, um, it's just a sad one. Coming into these um, games, these Olympic games, I remember so I met, we met with her. I had discussions with her at, at an event. And you will see the vibes and everything. All of us, we thought that definitely... She was actually the one every Nigerians were waiting for because we knew that Adia Koroye definitely would make us proud. But then again, they say when man proposes, I mean, God when, disposes. Exactly. So that was just the case. It's just so, so sad. I'm just 
trying to think how everything would just be ringing in her head. She's a prayerful type. She's the sing. She can sing for. Leave her that area, Francis. She can dance. Leave that area, Francis. And I remembered <laughs> when Esebrume and Blessing <laughs> won their medals, how she was singing, dancing, and anticipating that Thank ours God. will be more. Thank God. Divine more, intervention. You understand? Uh, okay, okay. Let me come in here, Joel, uh, wow. because I, I I took the pain to do some few research this morning when I came into the studio. After I listened to Tega, Queen Tega, that's what she's called right now. You know her. Tega, our uh, colleague. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yes, okay. Uh, she's now called Queen Tega. Oh, really? Good. Okay. She made some analysis, and I quickly went in to the net and did some research. There are certain holes in wrestling and kickboxing. If you get those holes, you can't go out of it. She said she knew very well that she was leading 8 nil, like rightly said. All she needed to do was to wait her up. Yeah, but she wanted too. to go for the kill. Mm. But she went wrongly, and that lady got her tied up, and there was no way she could go out of it. So the pinfall, yeah. her two shoulder yes. was on the on ground, the ground. Yeah. and that was a knockout. Yeah. Yeah. So the eight points she got was just a waste. For you, Dwell, uh, the storyline is all about technical input. Um, the Wrestling Federation was one that did so much preparation yeah, preceding yeah. the Olympics. Mm -hmm. They had competition yeah. in and out of the um, country, even in Bayesa. The president is extremely disappointed that if all hopes were on her, what is the lesson from this well? Mm. You see, the, the fact is, um, it's like a football game. The coach tells you, look, this, this is what we're playing. We're going to play formation 4 3 3. And you go in there, start doing something different. Mm. We saw when the coach, you know, he was shouting at some point, like, look, do this and do that. And like you rightly said, there's some chokehold. When they get to that, I think that particular chokehold gives it, I mean, gives you a high scoring point. And when your opponent gets another hold, it cancels your point. You know, so it's a big lesson for her to say, look, you have to mentally balance and maintain this. If she has stood on that 8-0 and said, look, I'm not going to relent on this, she might probably pick up, pick, pick up a medal. So it's a big lesson for other mm -hmm. athletes. And look, when you're leading, you just have to maintain that zest and that, you know, um, psychic. Say, look, I'm going to end this with, I mean, with this point I have. All right, before we move into other stories, I've just been informed that Coach Gabriel Opana is right on the line from Tokyo, Japan. Good afternoon, Coach. Hello, Coach. Hello, Coach. Yeah, I can hear you. How are you doing? Hello, Coach. Um, so far, so good. We want to say congratulations. We've seen how well uh, athletes right there in Japan are performing. And good enough, um, Chukwe Buka is right in the finals of the short put. What is your assessment of the Nigerian athlete so far so good? Um, so far so good for now. Oh, we already have uh, a bronze medal in the long jump by Esse Brume. Then uh, we have a silver medal from the blessing in wrestling. Um, for, for, for our tech, we're occupying the 64th position. Um, how would you actually rate the performance of these athletes, considering the preparation we had before the Olympics proper? Um, we came here with high expectations. But uh, um, unfortunately, a lot of things happened, and uh, some athletes were disqualified. So that uh, reduced the strength of the team. But so far, so good. We've been able to at least get, our, to get ourselves together and then make use, of, uh, make use of what we have. All right, coach. Um, as a coach, you know the strength of the team, especially in the field, which is where your specialty is. Um, Chukwe Buka is right now in the finals of the short put. What assurance are you giving to Nigerians, uh, considering the fact that the finals will be taking place tomorrow? Yeah, in the very first place, I want to say uh, first thing we had in mind was to get into the finals. And uh, thank God we're in the finals now. And uh, in the finals, anything can happen. He's rated number seven, number seven uh, amongst everybody throwing. So, uh, 
hopefully by God's grace, if he gets it right, we'll pick a medal. All right. I, 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 if you look at if you look at the distance is thrown, if you look at all the di distance thrown, they are all within the same range except for the guy who threw twenty two. Twenty two point six. Okay. So from the from from the second to the seventh person is open. Okay, uh, Coach, before we allow you to go, uh, because I was going to understand that it's almost 11 uh, p.m. right there in Tokyo, there is a new incentive for the athletes. From your own point of view, do you think it's enough motivation or it is late as at this point in time? Well, uh, the minister was able to triple what they had before coming to Tokyo. So if I tell you it's not enough motivation, I'm lying. Because the budget they had, and the minister tripled it. So I don't think anybody should complain about it. OK, um, before you go, Coach, you spent some weeks in Japan. Can you tell our viewers, our esteemed viewers back here in Nigeria, how you say good morning, good night, good evening? <laughs> All right, that was just that was just on the fast lane. We want to say a very big thank you for being part of the show. Right, to say to say to say to say good morning to say good morning is Ohio Goziama. Ohio Goziama. Okay. Ohio Goziama is good morning. Okay. All right, coach. We want to thank you for taking your time out. I uh, want to thank you for taking your time out to be part of the show right here on Sport Matters. Uh, Nigerians are simply saying you've done your best. We just hope that uh, we'll have an early preparation for the next Olympics, and I'm very sure you'll still be around. Thank you very much, and I want to use this opportunity to say thank you to all Nigerians that have been praying and sending uh, good wishes. Thank you, Coach. Hope to see you when you come back. All right, that's Coach Gabriel Okwana. He's a consultant. Okay, thank you so very much. Uh, that's Coach Gabriel Okwana. He's a consultant to the Athletic Federation of Nigeria on scouting. Most of the athletes on the field are uh, through his own tutelage. Now, uh, gentlemen, there was something we said earlier on before we quickly go on this break about the incentive. He just said the minister tripled that figure. So what happened that they, they didn't make it public? That's a good question. I, 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 it wasn't made public. I wonder why. <coughs> Yeah, probably in an in-house thing. I don't know what happened. Because, I mean, the, the because it was, it the was, it was didn't after Rumi won her bronze medal that we suddenly yeah. had that there's an increase in prize money. I'm still not believing anything until this athlete come out to say, oh, they It's not just trick money. Are they going to get that from? Are they going to get the money? If that does not happen, I'm not believing anything. It's not, it's not the first time we're hearing, you know, athletes, yes, they, they give this money, give that amount. At the end of the day, they don't even get up to, up to what they promised, so. All right. Let's quickly go on this break. When we come back, we'll continue with your lip.